Howdy folks, your host Nathan Cranzo here for a very special Penguin Live event. We have all the way from across the other side of the world, Mr. Tango himself, Marcelo. Did I say it okay? Yes, perfect. <laughs> it's Sua. perfect. Thanks for coming, man. Nice Thanks to for meet being you, here. my friend. What happened in your hands? Oh, I was tubing behind the boat, and uh, to make a long story short, I held onto the rope and I shouldn't have held on and oh. ripped through my hands. Oh. I'll be okay. Just made me feel stupid. Oh. Hurt, hurt my pride more <laughs> than anything. But my, uh, I'll be practicing one-handed bottom deals for Sometimes a while. Sometimes don't take care about the hands. Oh man, I don't think about Yeah, I, I'll be thinking more about it <laughs> for yes. the next couple of weeks I while I'm healing. <laughs> so what uh, start at the very beginning? What started you with magic? What was your first well, exposure to I, magic? I remember watching TV on my country. Um, in my country, we which have, Argentina? Yes, Argentina. In my country, we have. Sorry, but we have the best magician in this history. He's Rene Labant. Sure. He's a sure. one-hand magician. You know. Sure. I might be like him. Yes, it's great for me. It's my, it's my, it's my. He's a master for me. Sure. He's my friend, luckily. And when I was eight years old, I remember to see him the, on the TV performing a, a car magic routine sure. and smoking. The, of course, he's only one hand, smoke, um, make, make the Charlier cut, and um, performing. I have this, uh, uh, yes, this memory in, in, sure. yes, in my mind. It was so, my first um, time, yes, that I impressed with magic. What was the inspiration for the gimmick that won you the FISM award? Oh, okay. The inspiration was Chris Kenner. Okay. He, he, he don't know that, but... He does now. Yes, no, no, you <laughs> don't know that, Chris. Actually, the inspiration was the free flight coin routine. Okay. For that reason I say Chris Kenner, because in 1997, uh, David Copperfield went to Argentina for the first time. And uh, once in the night, we received the visit of Chris Kennedy in my bar Magico, my okay. magic bar. And I see Chris Kennedy performing his uh, coin, his, his free fly coin. Yeah. All the time, all the time. I was speaking with him and he performed the, the, the free fly coin. And I said, oh my God, I want to know how you performed that. But I didn't ask anything. Um, two or three years later, he introduced the his book, his great book, out mm -hmm. of uh, out of control, totally yes, out of control. Out of control. Yeah. And I, I, I knew there the, the routine. I, I, I tried to perform it, the routine with uh, like the Chris Kenner version. Uh, after that, I was some years thinking how to perform this routine with a gimmick coin. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I started to perform it with the slippery shell. Okay, sure. I remember that I contacted um, like a slippery Sam. Steve Dushak, yeah. the, the creator. Uh, I introduced on the market one routine. But after that, I said, okay, slippery shell is great, but I have to, I have to create a, a, a better, a better coin. Uh, one, one, one morning, I wake, I wake up and I said, oh my God, that is a coin. That is a coin. So I went to my factory and I made the first prototype and it works, oh my god. And I, I, I remember that I, I sent an email to Team Toronto. Sure. Team, I have an incredible coin that uh, allows you to perform any kind of routine where you have to take a hidden coin in your hands mm -hmm. without do it. That changed the coin magic. Yeah, really, it uh, does. And when I, when I, when I showed the, the prototype to Team to say, we, we, we was discussing the name with Tim. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> and I, Tim, say, Tim, Tim said, "Tuck." It's T-U-C-K. It's like put something into the other. Mm -hmm. And if we eliminate the K, we we have T-U-C. That is Tango Ultimate Coin. All right. So I know people are kind of dying to know what exactly what they might see at the lecture, so can you just tease them a little bit and give them a little idea of what they might see? Yes, the, the coin magic is like a, a third of the, of the, 30% of the, of the lecture is because... Will you talk, you talk about the TUC a little bit? Yes, yeah, TUC and his routines, okay. different, the, in his different models, but I could, I could give a three hours or four hours sure. lecture with TUC, so sure. it's not fair for the people. Just like a shell, you, yes. can, you can do anything, of you know? Of course. So 
we have the two see can i see the list because yeah, it's, sure. it's a large yeah. list that's good i will try to break the work you, you mentioned that you'll do the uh, shared dreams too yes i will explain about my new mind writer the moon writer okay. um some routines about it how to manage because the problem is how to manage yeah, the, get it the in handling. And out, yeah. yes i have a easy easy handling that i will teach today uh of course the tuc uh the unmemories deck I perform. Oh yeah, the unmemorized deck. I've seen the demo yes. for that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's I perform cool. with the unmemorized deck method uh, many routines, uh, and actually I include a PDF with oh, the cool. with the lecture. Question. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Bonus. That's bonus yes. number three. Yes. <laughs> uh, the memories. Uh, oh, my reel. I have three or four years ago. Tina Leonard. Mm -hmm. Ask me to make a new reel, a new reel because she performed with your reel uh, and she needed one. She wanted so to make the harp disappear, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have one and a half or two years to create a new reel, and I will show a routine with my reel and handkerchief. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay. So uh, you make reels too now? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, the share of the routine. That is my version of the confabulation of Alan Jackson, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's totally different because you can put the, the the envelope where the prediction appear in front of the of the audience all the time. That's great. Um, and I have a choke up routine without choke up. Oh, with the glass. Yeah, yes, yeah. with glasses. But I I I, I won't be I I. I, I I, I, I don't want to anticipate some of the information, sure, sure, sure. but you will be able to perform a choke cup routine without choke cup and where you can make appear many fruits without taking anything in your pocket. No loads? No. Good. Oh. Yes, loads, but not for your pocket. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's too much. Um, and if we have time, I have some any card at any number uh, variation of the kind currency routine. Awesome. With a, uh, another principle. Um, some other tips are about card magic, and I think that, I don't know, it's too much. <laughs> it is too much. Okay. Do you have uh, one, uh, like a coin trick you can do to tease us with before yes. we go? Yes, Something Why you can not? show to the camera? Why not? I think that... You just happen to have some coins. Yes. One of the most difficult routine to perform with coins is the winged silver. You know, the coin across that the great uh, David Roth performed many times. So pay attention, please. The cam, four coins. And the first coin traveling. Pay attention, Nathan. Three. Pretty damn clean. <laughs> <laughs> I will show how to perform this routine between the audience hands. Oh, that's awesome. Walking awful. around, yes. Because many magicians perform walking around. Plus, it's so strong table. when you do it in their hands, it's so strong. Pay attention, please. The last one. The cam. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that was pretty awesome. I hope that we can learn that later. Are we going to teach us that later? Yes, of course. Cool. I think that's uh, definitely worth the price of the lecture. So stick around. This is going to be a one-time only event. You can learn it tonight here at Penguin Live. We'll see you at 7 p.m. See you later. <laughs>